What's up, freaks in the VIP? It is Friday night. It's the weekend. I see all the posts all over Facebook and Instagram and Twitter and MySpace and all that other shit about, you're so excited. You've been waiting. Thank God it's Friday. All this other stuff. Because now it's time to relax. It's time to, you know, eat, indulge in those foods you've been waiting for all week that you've been working so hard for to have a couple of those adult beverages, all that stuff to just kick back, relax, shut shit down for the weekend. It's time that you've been waiting for all week, right? You worked so hard all week. You were so dedicated and disciplined and serious throughout the entire week. This is your time, the weekend, Friday night, Saturday, Saturday night, and even Sunday to just kick back, relax, Eat all that, eat all the shit that you've been working so hard so you can be able to eat to drink those adult beverages each night. This is the time. Now, if you believe any of that shit, I don't know what to tell you. This is not the time to start slacking off. Think about it. Friday, Saturday, Sunday. That's three out of seven days that if you do what I was just talking about and that's how you operate on the weekend and I see it. I stalk your shit on Facebook. I stalk your shit on Instagram. I even go to try to find you in all those other places to see. And there's shit that shouldn't be getting eaten. There's drinks, there's excuses, there's parties, there's birthdays, there's cakes, there's all that other bullshit. And I'm here to tell you that you didn't work so fucking hard all week, Monday through Friday, busting your ass in the gym just to go throw it all away, to throw it away by eating a bunch of junk. Now, that doesn't mean you can't earn things here and there. But if you think that each weekend is the time to go have a bunch of drinks, guess what? You're always going to have that extra, even no matter how lean you get. If you think that way and the entire weekend and sabotage yourself during the weekend, no matter how lean and fit you get, you're going to end up having that extra jiggle that you don't want. If you're looking to drop larger amounts of weight, that's just going to slow you down trying to lose the bigger amounts of weight each week. If every weekend you're going through that same cycle and you're just going through that cycle in your head, in your body, in your insides, in your, your fat cells, just going through that same cycle where you're busting your ass, you're strict all throughout the week and then you just lose your shit during the weekend. This is the time. The weekend is a time to be even more focused. More because you might be sitting around more. You might not be as active running around in the hustle and bustle during the week, going to work, kids and all this other stuff. This is the time to nail it down even more. And if you're not drinking all week, why would you go and blow it on the weekend? Do you know that I don't really drink anyway, but I haven't had a single drink in the entire year of 2019. And I don't say that to impress you. I say it to impress upon you that you have to make changes. You have to make sacrifices if you want to be disciplined. If you want to have the energy, the mental alertness, the body fat, the actual way you want to look. If you want it, you have to make those sacrifices in certain areas. And... If you're just training hard just to be able to eat shit so you could stay, like, I've seen people out there say that you could eat whatever you want and still get in shape. But are you, is that really the shape you want to be in? Is that the shit you want fueling your body? Garbage and junk and alcohol and whatever else? This is not the time. The weekend is a time to fucking nail it down. Laser beam focus in your head. Fuel your body. Get ready for that week. Now, if you need to regenerate and renew yourself on Sunday, whatever it is, do what you got to do. And if you're going to have, you know, a couple extra fruits and some stuff like that, the w- w- worst case, whatever, if you can have a little bit of rice here and there, if you earn that shit and you know you're still going to be on the path to continue losing weight, you do what you got to do, but you need to earn that shit. But if you're going to purposely eat some pizza and cake and drinks and cake, uh, Twinkies and Ho-Hos and all this other shit, it's, you're just going to be going in that never ending cycle where you're just going to keep going up and down and up and down. And you come in on Monday and you say you hit a plateau. Plateaus always get or always seem to be hit on Mondays and Tuesdays. It's, it's a strange phenomenon. It's called don't eat shit on the weekend. Don't drink bullshit on the weekend. Pass up on the fucking beers and all the adult beverages. And I don't care if it's the low calorie and what kind of alcohol is the best to drink and this and that. Cut that shit. Cut it. Cut it. And listen, if you're, if you're used to drinking like regularly first of all stop doing that shit second the first step would be to cut your drinking say you were having cut it in in half in quantity and half in frequency so say you were drinking four drinks four times a week i'm just doing this for easy mathematics we're gonna have to pull out our fruit phones and our little calculator or pull out the abacus or whatever so just say you were having four drinks twice a week 
cut that shit down to two drinks once a week. So you cut down the frequency, but you also cut down the quantity each time you're drinking. And if you could, and you are capable and have the willpower and discipline and desire to get in the best shape of your life, desire to have mental clarity and focus, cut that shit completely. You really don't need that shit. If you need to have a drink because to take the edge off after a stressful week, that's the wrong fucking reason to have a drink. If you're going to have a drink here and there for social reasons, whatever else, you do what you got to do. As long as you know what you're putting into your body and you're going to account for that and you earn that shit and you've been like laser beam focused, strict discipline. But don't use this weekend as an excuse to fuck up all the hard work and all the results you work so hard for all freaking week. Don't use it as an excuse. Don't use your stressful life and your job and your kids and your spouse and your pet fucking goat. Don't use this all as an excuse to start gargling a bunch of, a bunch of vodka during the weekend that you just need it to take the edge off. If you need an alcoholic drink to take the edge off, you've got a much bigger issues to freaking deal with. And alcohol is not going to cure that. It's just going to cover it up. It's going to be a, a mask covering that shit up. So... If you were going to drink, it needs to be strictly for a social reasons. Also, if you need to drink just to lighten yourself up, to make yourself have more fun. How about you just lighten up and be a fun motherfucker without having to have a drink? Like, just take it to that next level mentally in your freaking head because you're going to sabotage your results. You're going to sabotage your week. You're going to sabotage your month. And we say it all the time. One bad food kills an entire strict, healthy day of eating. Or one bad meal. Sorry, one bad meal. One bad food kills a healthy meal. One bad meal kills a healthy day. And then one bad weekend, like a a weekend, really if you think about it, Friday, Saturday, Sunday is someone's weekend. A bad weekend can literally kill a freaking month. Like it could take you a month to dig out of that or at least a couple of weeks with the damage you can do. So the two things that always happen on Mondays, and it's strange, the two things that always happen on Mondays are either A, someone hit a plateau. They, they, They didn't lose, they're not losing weight. Always on a Monday. Plateaus only happen on Monday. Strange. Or B, they've built this massive amounts of lean muscle. They built muscle. It's muscle. So either they didn't lose weight, so they hit a plateau. Oh my God, I hit a plateau. The, 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 it's not where Whatever I'm doing is not working. I hit a plateau. Or B, I gained three pounds on the weekend. I gained seven pounds in the last two, three weeks. And it's because I'm building muscle. Listen, you do not build Three pounds of muscle in a weekend. You didn't build two pounds. You didn't even build a a fraction of a pound of muscle in a weekend. If you had the secret formula to to build three pounds of muscle in a weekend, listen, we need to talk because we are going to be billionaires because you have the secret sauce to get people fucking jacked and ripped because it takes months and months of hard work, protein intake, lifting freaking weights, three, four, five times a week, strength training, doing all kinds of stuff like that, you're doing total body movements like you're doing in the boot camp classes to, get, to build one pound of muscle. That shit doesn't just happen overnight. It's impossible. Muscle, I don't know if you know it, but actually muscle building, like actually building real, serious, quality, solid, lean muscle actually is long, takes longer and is harder to do than burning fat. Because burning fat, all you have to do is have some freaking discipline. Eat less or, or, or burn more calories than, than you take in of the right types of foods. Bust your ass, have some nutritional discipline, and you will lose weight. Come to the sessions four to five times a week. Follow the, Just be, be aware of what you're eating. Have some nutritional discipline. Follow the educational eating program. Know what you're doing. Read the labels. Pay attention to the shit you're putting in your body. And don't sabotage yourself on the weekends. And you will lose weight regularly. Garen freaking teed. A lot easier, little, it's a lot easier to lose weight, to lose fat than it is to build muscle. So don't come in on a Monday after you know that you ate some shit you're not supposed to be eating, you drank a few drinks during the weekend, and then you come in on a Monday and say, oh my God, I hit a plateau. What do I need to do? I need to do something different. I hit a plateau. Plateaus don't exist. Or, oh, I only gained those two pounds, but it's muscle. I've been, I've been you know, it'd be going really hard in the boot camp class to weights. It's just two, 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 three pounds of muscle. That's bullshit. Don't, don't believe your own stories you tell yourself in your head. Have some freaking discipline. Have some nutritional discipline. Follow the educational eating. Bust your ass in the gym. And don't blow that shit on the weekend. The weekend is not a hall pass to go and eat a bunch of shit or to be lazy or to miss your workouts. You still should be getting in one of those workouts either Saturday or Sunday. If you didn't get your five in for the week minimum, 
and that's a minimum five. You might even, and if you're, and if you're rolling, you're feeling good, you might even get six. Don't do seven days a week. It's just not going to be good for you. You're going to overdo it. You're going to be overtraining. But don't use this weekend as an excuse to miss sessions, to not work out, to be lazy, to eat a bunch of crap. Don't use it as an excuse. Use it, if anything, use the weekend as a weapon. Let, let, let everyone else do that shit. Not us, not peak freaks. Don't waste the weekend. The weekend is your weapon. It's your time to show yourself what you're made of. Show yourself what kind of discipline you have. Show yourself how bad you actually want it. Why do you want it? Why do you want it? The weekend doesn't get, you know, your, your, your kids don't give a shit that it's a weekend when then you don't have the energy or don't feel good or hung over to go and hang out with them and go run around for a few hours with them without getting winded and tired and puking on yourself. Your kids don't care that it's a weekend. Your future grandkids that aren't even freaking born yet do not care that it's the weekend. Your reason why, whatever the reason you're doing this, whatever reason you want to better yourself, better your life, lose weight, get healthy, get in the best shape of your life, whatever that reason is, does not give a shit that it's the weekend. The future, the, your future self doesn't give a damn. That fat on your body does not care that it's the freak, freaking weekend. It doesn't recognize weekends. It just recognizes discipline or bullshit. That's what it recognizes. And you're not, you can't, you're not gonna have them both. And it will give you the results if you don't waste your weekend. Use your weekend as a weapon. Any questions, comments about anything, put it down below. Let's talk about it. I will talk to you later. You are fucking awesome. No excuses.